guys and welcome to Digital by Nelva. My name is Nelly Valerie and I am back bigger and better. I was going through some beautiful things <laughs> so I wasn't able to shoot but I am back and I'm supposed to pass my happiness to you guys and I'm gonna do that. So without more further to do how about we get started. So my first story is kind of like ish ish why though. So this guy the NG the 254 hive man most probably people know him about that and he's also our presenter at 1FM. He's being trolled for all the wrong reasons. So some chillers decided, okay, we are going to put this man out and let the world know what he's been doing. So he's been hitting on different mamas and begging for Nunu. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh my God. But to be honest, <clears throat> that's what it said. And funny enough that he's been hitting, or let me say begging for this thing with people who have the same blood ties, like the way you'd hit on my sister and then hit on my cousin. So these girls came together and was like, yo, bro, chill out. Get your things inside your pants. Oh my God, this story is just hilarious. Trust me. Um, <coughs> personally, I never troll a man uh, for hitting on me. It's just a very... If, 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 if again a man hits on me and hits on another woman, I'd never even want to be associated with that because I see myself as a competition and a whole lot good things in me that I don't want to be associated with all that. But anyway, the women who did that, y'all, you know, everybody has their own opinions to everything and I, I hope DNG decides to cool down or not. I mean, he was married and then divorced and then now, <sighs> nigga, get your life together. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. So, Going to more news. You all know size I kiss it you can get your old name, but anyway, <laughs> this is fire. So during the inauguration um ceremony, size was supposed to be performing. I'm gonna perform. Tom 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 tom. <laughs> then he was she was cut short, my bad, she was cut short. I really don't know why she was cut short, but people said that it was because of her poor performance. First of all, wrong choice of song. I mean, those are songs she'd be singing on weddings, not such ceremonies. And then, I don't know, people came to say that that was her worst performance and she should have really um, taken time to know what... Like, people said it was more for the money than more of what she does for God. Anyway, so is it to me, I feel like you're a perfect singer and you're a good gospel artist. Just go on with it and haters are going to be haters and people who support you are going to be supporting you all the time. But anyway, know your names as well. That's really important. So you'll know a winja who's also known as Vicky. She's an actress at Papa Shirandler. And she, oh my God, I love this woman. She is so adorable. Have you seen her tummy goals? And I'm not that bad though. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Um, she has been seen out after six months while given back to a son who is adorable. We don't see the face yet, but I believe Evangel said that the son is very good. Um, what people are wondering is uh, why she's out so early and the kid is only, you know, six months or five months. So I'm not quite sure of the term. But I feel that this was the same thing that people were claiming out to be for her Miss Mameda because she gave birth to a baby boy and then she was in Dubai. So people are like, why don't you just raise your kids and then you can go back and do whatever you do. But again, I feel like if a mother is comfortable with leaving the kids with the nanny, I mean, why not? Just leave your kid with mommy and go and, and you know, hustle hard and bring money, to, bring money to the table and be food to the table. I mean, it's all good. Like, you should just relax and stop worrying. When do people become so serious to even ask you why you leave your child at home? Too much information, baby, and you all just need to know nothing. Just relax. So I did on 50 million was sold at KCB Bank in Juja, thicker, and supposedly 17 million was recovered at a certain mama's house at Juja again. Trust me, me not a twist story nika movie. As now as you are like a chini, we can decide check you out and dunga you out and dunga you whole. Me mean ta ingilia hapa. As in this was a whole. It's like a movie. Trust guys, just give us the video. We only see how you guys did it. Because, I mean, all banks are now scared. I don't feel it is good for them to, th to steal. But the amount of knowledge and skill that was put to this. Ish. Bro, why are you guys? I need to holler at you people. <laughs> so, uh, a story is a story without naming a Akode's a daughter was supposedly, was supposedly in Strathmore University. Uh, was, um, what was she? was modeling for an award and uh, probably she won. So, the students were like, she just won because she's a Codes daughter. She just won because her mother is famous. 
I don't know why people like playing victim, but again, if somebody won, just let them have their victim, the, the victory, I mean. You should never make people feel bad about their success. You know why? Even when Kendall Jenner um, got their word for um, what? Uh, they can whatever, whatever, something, something like that. People were like, oh my God, people like Celine Dion should be getting this, not her. But again, just wait for your time it is never too serious don't don't blame somebody for their hard work or whatever got them there because there's a great mother and i i really appreciate the the, 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 the daughter because she went and said you're going to talk about she but mama's gonna be my mama whether she had no shoes legs or she crazy she gonna be my mama yo every woman supports their child you know, and it's great when your kids come out and they say you support them. And even if that is what made her win, I mean, thanks to her mom. So kudos to you for winning and kudos to her. <laughs> so I like to switch it up to Bongo a little bit. So you all know Harmonize and the beautiful ex-girlfriend who is so light skin and has short hair and has a very beautiful body. She's pregnant. Yeah, no with Harmonize. I don't know who <laughs> is responsible for the pregnancy, <laughs> but everyone is anxious to know who is the daddy to her baby, and I'm so anxious as well. When Mr. Peto went to social media and said that she is so done with cyberbullying, I mean, she is about to commit suicide because she feels like even if she dies, what will people have to say about her? Trust me, it reaches a time that this gets to work. At a minute when they're up on YouTube, you guys in Guillaume, but I will not die. But there are people who will die. <laughs> you know, sick and dog on a wrong who come and or probably I just don't care. I really care about your comments, trust me. You better drop them this time. No more sour. But there are people who take things seriously, you understand? People who have don't have, they, not everyone has a thick skin. Mine is not thick though, I don't know, but it gets into their heart, it gets so deep. So before you say something to somebody, make sure whatever you say is positive, it's going to build someone, okay? Just try and build somebody. So she went and said that she is tired, she is done and she's no longer doing this again and she's going to be off social media for a while. To me I'd say what? Ignore everybody and live your life. Go back home, eat your chapati and uji. Wake up tomorrow, be on your phone. Flip it, girl. Flip it. Girl, she has body goals and she's so pretty. I mean, she's been through a lot. So, y'all, move on from it. That was all for today. I was the girl, man. Well, I hope to do this next time. Same place, same time. Not same place. By the way, shout out to Anto and Elvis. I love you people so much for always enjoying me.